In this video, I'll be going over how to connect your Finch project to Ladybug and live sync it as you work. The first thing I'll do is open up the Finch Ladybug script, which we've provided for you in the description below. And from here, the only thing that you really need to work with is actually connecting the specific project invariant that you want to load into the simulation. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and type in my project invariant. And then once I've typed that in, I'll go ahead and refresh to update the data. And then I can actually just skip over all of this and turn on my ladybug simulation. So I'll just center that and toggle this to true. Once that's loaded in, I can of course change my ladybug settings, but in this case, I could also change a bit about my view parameters here in Finch. So right now I'm viewing the story and unit walls, but I could go ahead and actually switch to view the slabs as well. If I wanted to see those just by changing this mesh into the custom preview here, and now I can see the actual roofs and flaps here as well. A bit about how this script is actually structured. So this bottom part is creating the roofs in order to create the context geometry that the ladybug simulation will run around. And then up top here, we have the actual spaces that are simply getting plugged in as our real geometry into the simulation here. Of course, if I want to update things in Finch, I can do that. And then I just need to refresh the data to restart the simulation. So in this case, I'll just jump back into Finch. And just to, to show a clear example, I'll go ahead and delete one of these floors. And so now I've made some changes up in Finch and to get those back down into the Ladybug simulation, I simply just need to go ahead and refresh. And I can always see that I have this data outdated notification here, which means that something has changed up in Finch since the last time I pressed refresh. Once those new changes have loaded in, I can of course now see that I have no walls on this floor and the Ladybug simulation has updated. Perhaps if I actually just take a look at the walls in the custom preview without the slabs, it'll be a bit clearer. So here we can see that this floor has, of course, much more daylight now that we've removed those internal walls.